and then every year in the fall I use it for what? To make the char cloth. <laughs> I was actually just making some char cloth and I went back because I wanted to take and get a hold of the previous video link that I did making char cloth and I realized there was a question in there. Someone had asked me about whether or not I ever finished the video of making a fire with char cloth. And I'm sure I probably have a video somewhere on my YouTube channel. There's like 600 videos. But I honestly don't remember <laughs> one specifically that I used to make fire with char cloth. So basically I'm just out here picking up some materials. Since I just made some char cloth. How I'm going to make a fire with char cloth. First thing I do is I start by processing the material. So I collected some leaves, I collected some grass. I'm gonna get some small sticks. What I'm doing now, I'm basically crushing the leaves that are whole entire leaves. I'm crushing them so that I can create a bird's nest out of them. You can also rub them in your hands. My hands are pretty dry, they're not oily. That is probably enough for that. I wanna do the same thing with this dry grass after I get rid of some of those, some of that had uh, dirt on it. So what I'm doing by doing this, you're breaking the fibers down in this material so that it ignites easier. Then I'm going to mix these two leaves and this grass together. There's not really a specific way that it needs to be done. You just want it to be mixed up. Alright, so this is going to be what I'm going to call my bird's nest, right? Then in my pocket... I have, this is the char cloth that I just made today to replenish. Pipsqueak, you're going to have to go. This is the char cloth. Is that even in frame? This is the char cloth that I just made today on the BioLite stove, the same way I've made it in the other BioLite video. And then this is my normal kit. That has my flint and steel in it. This is an SE fire steel. I highly recommend this one. This flint I got off of. Uh, I don't even honestly remember where I got it from. There's some jute twine in there. There's also a couple of pieces of char cloth in there. So what happens is in the fall. Every year I go through my kits. And I replace anything that's missing. Of course, I had I was getting low on char cloth, so I made more. And what I want to show you is I want to take some of this out because there's a couple different ways you can do this. And the way that you do it is basically however you're most comfortable. But a lot of people will take char cloth and they'll take a piece of it. And they will stick it on the actual flint like this between, <coughs> excuse me, they'll stick it on the flint like this between their finger and the flint. 
and then they'll strike it like this. Now, there's a lot of debate whether or not having the char cloth <coughs> I don't know why I'm coughing so much. There's a lot of debate on whether having the char cloth on top of the rock or the bottom of the rock, on top of the flint or the bottom of the flint, is better. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really think that it matters, which is why I'm not particular. I can get it to go both ways, usually. There it finally went. You see it? See it burn in there? So then you add this to your bird's nest and you blow it into a flame. But I don't want to do that just yet. I want to pinch this out. So I showed you this way where you've got the char cloth on the rock, on your flint. Try it this way on top, and if that don't work, move it to the bottom and try it. But basically what you're doing, you're just hitting the flint with the steel, and that throws sparks. And because the char cloth is so flammable, it literally just takes one spark to land on it, and it turns into... A uh, turns into a fire. Now, another way that people do this is this over where you can see it. So, I put the container here and I still have the char cloth in the container. And what a lot of people like to do is they will stand and strike this so that the embers camera went out they'll take and strike this so the embers fall into the container like this right off the bat I got one you see it burning there so we then add this to our tinder bundle and blow on it. I actually think I went all the way through. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Let me try it again. <laughs> I didn't actually get that centered in there good enough. So I basically blew. It wasn't in contact enough with the bird's nest. So I actually blew it out. There it is burning. See it there? Can you see it burning? So we add it <laughs> to the tinder bundle again. Let's try to do this this time right. And there we go. 
I hope and pray that was all in frame because I really don't know if it was or wasn't. So, Amy McFarland, sorry it took me so long to get back to you. This is how you make a fire with char cloth. Now we definitely have it for YouTube, right? Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.